to the Diva Show. Good morning, wherever you are. Thanks for joining us. We are live from Studio B here in Accra. Of course, it's on TV3. And several games coming up this weekend. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. A lot of talking points. Of course, United being kicked out of the Champions League. I'm sure a lot of you are expecting me to talk about that game. Well, you've danced on our graves. It's all right. Um, I'm going to select the messages you know, carefully. So if you have any ill message about United, don't worry. I will not read. Let me just state it before we go on. Anyway, so um, this morning, I have several ladies passing through. They're all going to talk about football. Maybe along the line, they might tell us a bit about what they're up to. But basically, it's all about sports. I want to start with Christine here. Uh, how are you doing, Christine? I didn't get your full name. Jacka. Christine Jacka. Okay, good to see you. Which team do you support? Barcelona. You're a Barca fan. Okay, so uh, y we have something in common. Oh, yeah, Real yes, Madrid yes, dealing yes. with us, <laughs> right? <laughs> we do have some. But how have you been? Oh, I'm good. Back to back. How did you take it? Um, cool. Yeah. You know, yeah. cool. Yeah. You're not bitter. Oh no. Yeah. It's. I think the pain is gone. So it's it's cool. We're yeah. moving on. That, that's good. <laughs> that's good to know. And then we have Helen Godswell here. She's our sales director with Mary Kay Cosmetics in the US. You're a big woman. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cash. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, good to see you. It's your second time on the show. Yeah. Your second time in Ghana. So. Sure. Yeah. How is it? Beautiful. Beautiful. And you're here just for Mary Kay. Yes. Right. We'll talk about it. Are you into football? A little bit. A little bit. Were you happy when Super Eagles lifted the Cup of Nations trophy? Sure. You were? Uh -huh. Anyway. And then there is Diane. Diane, which team do you support? Barcelona. Oh, wow. <laughs> Next you too. <laughs> you both support Barcelona. Yes. And how, how have you been? The back-to-back? -back? I was shocked. Like, I'm thrown over it. You're yet to yeah. get over it? How come? I lost my shirt, like, T-shirt because of that. How? I bet my T-shirt on it. <laughs> A Madrid fan sees it for a month. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. Uh, what, what, what would the Madrid fan do with a Barca jersey? So she, she's not going to allow me to wear it okay. for a month. Probably she's been admiring the jersey for a very long yeah, that's time. What I told so you. she wants yes. to feel yes. it. Okay, give her a message, please. <laughs> so I don't think she's watching. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't matter. She'll be told. Okay, now I want to tell you that no matter what, we are the best. Eesh. We are still the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's start with um, the local. Uh, uh, league, no, local stuff. Let's talk about our black stars. Um, there's been a lot of talk about our coach, whether he should go, whether he should stay, and then names are coming up. Somebody mentioned Marcel Desai. Do you think that he should even be considered at all? Um, well, I think first of all, they wanted to give the job to him um, before choosing Gracie appear. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the FA didn't give that to him. And he gave it to Chrissy Apia. You were not in favor of Chrissy Apia? Oh, I, I support a black coach. Okay. Whether it's Chrissy Apia, it's my, my say, I didn't. You support the local coach? It's just a local coach. Okay. I'm there. Okay. Um, I think Chrissy Apia should be given an, another chance. When the whites came, the same thing. They did the same thing. Like, Goran sent us to the semifinals at Equatoria Guinea. Mm. So I don't think it's anything new or different. Mm. I think Chris Apia should be given the second chance as the FA has done. People are raising um, rumors <laughs> that after the Sudan match, mm. they are going to take the job away from him. I don't think that's the best. They should still give him the chance. Perhaps, who knows? Okay. I like you already. <laughs> How are you, Diane? I'm fine. <laughs> uh, do you think Chris Apia should be. I don't really know much about them. local football. But well, think, that's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. But I think we have to give him another chance. Mm. I bet it's his first uh, shot, mm. so you should be given another chance. Yeah, there are several rumors, like you mentioned, coming up, uh, especially with this uh, um, Samuel Inkum stuff, you know. So people are saying, well, if he allegedly asked for anything of that sort, then indeed he should be kicked out. But again, they just remain rumors. Yes. And you are a Nigerian. We saw how Stephen Keshi managed your team. Mm -hmm. uh, people thought he wouldn't deliver. He's uh, got a bit of ego, and his ego counted when it mattered, you know. So a local coach indeed must be given the chance to prove himself or herself if we ever have a female coach. Yes, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Give them a chance. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't have the chance to do what they have to do, they will never get anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
So a local coach is welcome any day. Okay. And uh, uh, the Sae, you, you've read a lot about him? Um, yes, he's also good. Mm. But um, I think uh, when he came, um, I don't know, he was suggesting they bring an assistant coach from outside. Like, mm. though it's good you work with someone you know, like Coach Christian Pia has done, choosing Maxwell Kledu. Um To say, I don't think he should take the work from Christian Pia. If there's any other team they would like to try him on, yes, they can do that. Already Bobo um, Salastate is with the under 20. So I don't know which of the national team they can give to him. But for the Black Stars for now, uh, changing the coaches too much is going to take a psychological effect on the boys. So I think they should give Chris Yapia the chance. At least let's get, uh, let's get done. Let's get done with the qualifiers. And when we, we're going to Brazil, then we'll see what we are. I'm not going, going to Brazil. To, okay. <laughs> we yes. are going to Brazil. Okay. And then when we get to Brazil, I'm not saying that when he qualifies the team, they should take the team away from him. Let's see what Quisepia uh, can do. Mm. And then if it doesn't go well, then Ghanaians can talk. I think we should just give him. But for now, we should just. Huh. We should just shut up. Oh, well. about the Quisepia, we should just we should just shut up. Uh -huh. The whites came to do the same thing, and, and we didn't say much. So I think we should just let him be and see what he can do. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, before we, we go for the uh, Vox Pop from our people, the, Vox, the, the Diva Talk from our people, because a lot of people also shared their views about Mercedes Sae being considered for the Black Stars coaching job. I don't know why this is coming up, because we already have a coach. We have a substantive coach. And uh, Christian Pierre, we have a game coming up. Uh, I think that it's really not necessarily to necessary yeah. to talk yeah. about another coach when we yeah. have a game yeah. coming up. Coming up. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so let's let's go for that. Let's go for the talk and then we'll come back to this, this to continue. Competence I am not too sure because we, we don't we don't know his track record when it comes to coaching. All we know is about um, his exploits when he played for the uh, French national team and so on. So um, with our Black Stars, I think we should have somebody who has a track record. Somebody who has a track record of getting national teams succeed. Not somebody who just is in the, in, in the background and thinks that he's an, had an experience as a player and for that matter, he can be a coach. Maybe he can be a deputy for now, so that he learns on the job to, to, to handle the stacks for us. The Black Star is too big for somebody without experience in handling national teams to, to, to take care of. I think it's long overdue. I mean, if we really want to take our football serious, he's, I mean, I don't think he's even got a contestant because uh, we are now looking at a scientific game and the business component as well. We cannot afford to be petty with our game. You understand? It's, it's I mean, it's, 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 I don't know, but I think they have to take this guy very serious because he has played at the highest level, you know, and he knows how passionate Ghanaians are about their game. I have personally seen him in Europe. I mean, cheering the Black Stars, not here. You understand? Sometimes he's on this BBC, uh, sports shows and the passion that he shows you marvel that this is someone who has played for France and yet he comes in and people you know you know the Ghanaian thing we don't want to give him space so I think that if we really want to take our game serious we should just consider him and see what he brings to the table well I have nothing to prove that he's not competent so I can't say he can't do it unless I've seen some reason to say he can't do so I don't have any evidence that he, he cannot do it. I would not be able to say whether he's the right person. If you give me a pool of people to choose from, maybe. But if you ask me as an individual whether he, that specific person, can do it, uh, it's person. But I think you have experts to be able to assess who is most suitable based on uh, character, uh, skills, um, looking at how he can integrate well with the, with the team that we have. Um, coaching is both psychological and also strategy. So um, that's why we have GFA to assess who is the most uh, suitable person to take the job. Mm. 
I think he's good. So maybe if um, the necessary support and opportunity can be given to him, I think he he will do well. Right, so you heard what people had to say, whether or not Desai should ever be considered for the job. Remember, as somebody was saying, he's never been approached by any team. I was reading here on Twitter. He was approached by Norwich, actually, Norwich City, and he turned down that offer. But the, the main issue is whether or not Kwesia Pia should be given the space. He needs a break, really. He needs that kind of, you know relaxed environment to carry on with his job. So if you start throwing in names here and there, I think it's a bit destabilizing. You think he'll be confused? You think? Yeah, I think he'll be confused. Maybe he will just Like the Bata team. <laughs> no, we are not confused right now. Even already, he's got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Like, coming back from the Afghan, the expectation of Ghanaians were not met. And when they came back, a lot of things. He had to apologize. Even after the apology, people were still criticizing him. He's just a human. So I think it's not just right for him that people will start bringing up names. He will feel that he's not even safe with the job right now. So how then do, uh, does he get Ghanaians, like, how then does he get the stars qualified for, for the Brazil 2014? Mm -hmm. So I think, Ghana, if we want the best for the team and the best for us, we should leave the coach alone for now. If they have something to say, let us see if the, the team will qualify. Then we can bring up whatever we have to say. Okay. For now, I think they should just leave the man alone. It, it, it's right. really working on him psychologically. Okay, it's not Coach very... Christine. <laughs> 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 okay, now, uh, let's talk about you, um, Helen, why you're here. Um, first, I'm here because of skin care. Oh, okay. You got me <laughs> looking at my skin. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and um, just a little bit of what um, Christine said about the coach. He needs encouragement and the support of the people. So that will build up his confidence and help him do better. Okay. So I think, you know, it's good for the people to just keep quiet and watch okay. and pray. So and he pray. Can succeed. It's critical, isn't it? Very critical. Yeah. Everything is possible with prayer, so he will succeed. Okay. Let's give him a chance. Mm -hmm. So talking about skincare. It's important both men and women take care of their skin. There are many products out there in the market, and it's not just about a particular product. But the good thing about this product is that it's customized for your skin type. Whatever it is about your skin, there is a product provided by Mary Kay for you. Mm -hmm. So that's why we encourage people to take care of their skin using Mary Kay Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. And it's not only about Mary Kay Cosmetics also, is um, we have um, products that help you with your health also for well-being to lose weight and while you lose weight for your skin to be fair a lot of times people are losing weight but their skin begins to sag and lose the firmness so with this product we also help you so you're here to promote this product how long are you yes. in, in Ghana for well I've been here for a couple of days and I'll be leaving tomorrow night okay so I still have all day today and all day tomorrow Okay, and and um, you know you you you're you're a very big woman, Mary Kay. <laughs> and when I say that, you, you just keep smiling. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of young people look up to you, whether you're male, female. Yeah. You've risen through the ranks, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm sure you're an inspiration for them. Anyway, so uh, uh, Helen is in the country. She leaves tomorrow, as you heard. Uh, if you want to meet up with her, sh she will be at... Um, the address is um, Reese Junction of Ashley Butri. Butri Road, Medina yeah. Accra. And that's Creme de la Creme. Okay, so if you want more inspiration about how uh, you can also go through the ranks that way, I'm sure it wasn't easy for you when you no. started. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so go there, creme de la creme, uh, of the Reese Junction. Reese Junction of Ashali. Ashali Butri. Okay, I'll spell it that one. Ashali <laughs> Butri. Go there, get all the inspiration. I'm sure when young ladies like this, when yes. you meet people like that, you just tell yourselves, okay, I can do it, right? Sure. <laughs> anyway, so we're taking a breather. And then we're bringing more ladies. We're talking about football and what we can do to get to Brazil. We are going to Brazil anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be in the finals of the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Do I mean that? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, yeah, welcome back. I've got some messages here. And um, 
<laughs> Interesting. Well, Leroy says, watching the Diva show, well, good to know. Ernest Nyame says, Nana, but please use your medium to tell Ghanaians to leave coach Kwesiapia alone. He really needs to be given a second chance. Well, I totally agree with you. Uh, Philip Frempon says, good morning. Hope you talk about your defeat on the program. Which part of I'm not talking about United Madrid, don't you understand? <laughs> um, <laughs> Samira says, good morning, Nana, but you look... Um, you look more. Oh, thank you. And, well, talk about that. I have to say thank you to Cookie Spala for my hair. Cookie Spala is in Osu. It's just around the new SNIT uh, Specialist Hospital. And you can call them on 0243153374. I love my memory. Sometimes it's on point. Um, Godson Bali is also watching. And uh, Alumenu Moses says, Man United is still Man United. Who, who has never lost a game. Don't mind them. The Chelsea fans were on our neck. Did you see the team they lost to in the Europa? I don't even know the team, really. Yeah, good to see you. Which team do you support? Chelsea. <laughs> okay, that's a twist. Yes. Anyway, good to see you. Yes, we were talking about um, Kwesiapia earlier. Uh, what do you think? What do you make of um, his uh, the decision to either keep him or take him out? I personally think he should be kept, but he should listen. If you go into a tournament, how can you take players that are not fit? That is one thing. And in your first game, you played Kuja somewhat in the defense. It did not work. And that is how come we even got lucky and then we had a draw. Against Burkina Bay, this was so clear. You had um, these, this side who are very physical. And I was expecting him to bring in players that are very, very physical. You've lost a defender. Who do you bring in? A defender, he had Jonathan Mensah on the bench. So tactically, he wasn't even listening. If you watch him, you could see that his assistant coach was most of the time prompting him to do those changes. And he was just not listening. So that is how come I think Ghana lost, you know, the last two matches. So it's not a matter of letting Kusi Apia go. It is a matter of him listening, watching. He's tactically lost. That is how I feel. So you think he's tactically bankrupt? Look, if he goes into... Um, the next World Cup, like the, we, you are actually advocating that we have to call it. We have to. We don't just sit in the studio and qualify. He has to do something. <laughs> that is what I'm thinking. Okay. If he go, if he goes in like that, mm -hmm. we will not qualify. That is my own opinion. Because you have a defender. Jonathan Mesa was sitting in, uh, at the bench. You've lost John Pentel. Who do you bring on? Why that change? You take a playmaker that is good as someone and put him in the defense, and that did not work again mm -hmm. in our first match. And then you do it again. So I was very, very surprised. And we've got it to a stage where I'm thinking that if Ghana Black Star is playing, is it only a Samoan that can play? If a Samoan is having a bad day, can't he be substituted? That is what I'm saying. If he's having a bad day, another person should be given a chance. Who do you think should have been given a chance? I really did not take count of all the strikers Maybe in Maybe Manuel Cote? Three. three, yes. Watch well, here, Adam Manuel Cote. Watch here, Adam Manuel Cote. Yeah, they said he, had injury, he wasn't fit. Yeah. So yeah. another player, what I'm saying is, there are times that if you're playing, even Torres, Chelsea, there are times that he's playing, they will substitute him and bring someone on because he's not having a good day. I, I'm, I'm not too impressed with that ex uh, example, but yeah, go on. <laughs> So all that I'm saying is, if you are playing the boys, someone is not performing. Look, we went to a tournament mm -hmm. and watch our captain, Asamwajan. What did he do apart from, is there a goal or two? A goal, but a goal. he assisted. In, so. I know, yeah. he did assist. But there are certain times that, I think one of our last matches, that was, he was the last man. That is a goal he should have buried. And Asamwajan ended up blowing the, the ball just somewhere. And I feel that, look, if he is playing, maybe it's the seventh minute, 70th minute, he is not doing well. Why can't you just take him off? Well, but I think Christine. that yes, I think that um, the reason why I didn't really criticize the coach is that when they came back, he eventually apologized at a press conference. Like he was so sorry. Are we so doing this? He, no, he said that he's learned. He said he's learned a lot of things from the Africa. Though that's not um, the stage. Yeah, that's not. We are, we are he's, not he's not to there to learn. learn to go he wasn't and there practice. to learn. Yes. What if we but, go the next time he comes back and he has to always come and apologize? Oh to no, that's, that's what we are all saying. Yes, apology is just not enough. But what we are saying that he should be given a second chance. A coach himself and a Samoan will just take you know a whole nation break a heart when he comes. One press conference. He said he apologized and that should be okay. That no, we are not saying not it's okay. okay, but all we are saying is that he should be given a second chance. He no, said he that he's learned a lot of he things. Has, so let's see I what feel he hasn't learned. He went into a tournament, four or five matches. <laughs> we kept 
making so many mistakes. We were talking so, about so, it. He, he, he came back and he, he came back to say that he's sorry. So let's see he, what he's got for us. Okay. Let's first see the Sudan match on the 24th of this man, uh, month. And, and see what he's got for us. We uh, should after, take after. the right players. If players are not fit, okay, yes, I just don't that, take them yes. to a tournament and come and tell us that. Oh, yeah, yeah that one too. I'm not against that. I'm not against that. But I feel they should be given a second chance. Are we done? <laughs> yeah. Alright, just so we are clear that we are done. Really, um, what do you make of the talk about the CIA? Okay, um, personally I feel he doesn't have that much experience. Okay. He's just been a player, he's not really coached any side before. And Ghana Blaster is too big um, a team for him to start his career with. So, you know, on that one we should just pass him. Even if we're going to go for another coach, you go for someone that have more experience and not just the Sahil mm, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I think if he wants to coach Black Stars, then he has to take one of the local teams first. Then first. Yes. Like which just, one? Anything. Hats of Hook. Are you going to go for Hats of Hook? Not at all. Because you're not doing well. So you have to prove a point. But who says Duncan is not doing the work? I'm not saying he's doing the work. He is doing the work. But what I'm saying is he's doing the work. But where are they now? They meant we just want to go to relegation zone, and that is no good. You think Hearts will be relegated? Yeah, no, 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 I think so. Yeah, I, I, I will be very so. excited if they are relegated. Oh, really? I, I, I don't they think they will go for relegation. For another side to also come in, it shouldn't always be about Kotoko, Hatofog, Which team is it? Which local team is it? Kotoko. Now I get it. I really get it now. Anyway, what happened to Chelsea in Europa? Oh. After dancing on our graves because Real Madrid kicked us out. Oh, yeah, no, but you still have a shot anyway at Stamford Bridge to make things right. Yes, yes. That, that is what I was trying yes. to say. Going away has never been easy for any team. And What's the name of the team again? I, I really think is it's just... Is this still Bucharest? Yeah, some it's funny some teams funny, teams. Team, funny name like that. Yeah. I think going away was not easy. And if you watch mm -hmm. that side... Tactically, they were very disciplined. They did not come out and they played a very defensive game. So I think that did not really work for the Chelsea guys. But coming back to Stamford Bridge, you can't just stay in your own house and expect Chelsea not to throw it at you. If they come and they play the sort of football they played in their own house, when they come to Stamford Bridge, I'm very confident they would lose against Chelsea. Uh, but I think there's a problem with Rafael and, and, and his ben team. Benitez? Yes. The, he, he's the interim one. That is the problem. <laughs> I think he came out confidently yes. to actually complain to about that, the fact yeah, that he doesn't, the he boys doesn't like the don't time. respect him because they actually name him as the interim coach and not yeah. the coach himself. But I, I think that is just an excuse. When you came in initially, it was working. That one you did not complain. Is it now that you're losing that the, the fans are on it's your neck? because the fans are, are, are too much on his You know, I think Rafael Benitez moving to Chelsea was not a right move. Why? Then, then he Ramovic used to be should in, be blamed for that. Yes, I know, of course. But he was out. He didn't have any, but any team. But I don't think Chelsea can survive the Europa League. You, you think, think okay, yeah, like it depends. It depends. Uh, you know, you make yeah, so, so, so Ralph of the Night is out. out. You see, they're they're out. out. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, so Rafa Benitez was thinking that they will focus and concentrate on the Africa. Okay. Which I don't think, mind you, will also They're playing us tomorrow. They're coming to, yes. Okay. Old Trafford tomorrow. We'll beat you anyway. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I stand to differ. I'm yeah, just yeah, probably yeah, saying, you know. Oh, Chelsea, really? Yeah. They, they, they have both lost. You they have both lost. Oh, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, two wounded lions. Two wounded lions. But so one of them lost very, very to very a lion. bigger lion. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I, is, is Manchester United a small lion? No, but Real Madrid is right better now, than Chelsea right anyway. Now, right now, right now. Real Madrid is a better You can never sit down and say that any team is smaller or any team is big. That is what Ghana has done in the in the African Cup of Nations. Sometimes you can. Okay, sometimes you can. I I agree with you on that one. Sometimes. 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 It's a Mickey Mouse league. Yeah. 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 Oh, you still, you still join us. No, 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 your head. And Basa, you're winning the league as well. Yeah, we, yeah, we are. Okay, that but you're out of Copa del Rey. Yeah, you're out. <laughs> you're, you're beating two times. You can't imagine. Back to still. back. No, no, uh, Seto was on the show saying it's never happened. I'm so happy. You can't imagine. I'm so excited. You're not even in our league. No, 
in the, even in on the, the Premier other. League, Chelsea, I think they are. Fun. They are not doing too well. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if you are, if you are, you are I'm excited saying, because just, Barcelona has lost. Not at all. I'm just saying that. No, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. No, 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 I'm, say, I'm, just saying that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that. If you're going to talk about the Spanish La Liga, uh, I don't support Barca there. And then if you come to Chelsea, if you come to the EPL, which team do you support in Real Madrid? Well, how, how do you know? Is it even Mourinho factor? Not at all. Oh, I, is it true? I, no, not at all. Not at but all. How, how do you I, I, Really, I don't see how I, I think, you can support two teams at the same time. I, I just no, can't no, 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 no. You, you see, they don't me, play I the do. same football. Uh, yeah, one is Spain and one is India. Yeah, and one here. So obviously, you have to. Honestly, I just can't. But there's always that problem that any time Real, uh, Real Madrid is coming to play Chelsea, then you know it becomes very, very difficult. difficult for you to no, but for me, I still stand my ground. Okay. You know, I support Man City at the England uh, okay. in English okay. Premiership, okay. Mm-hmm. and then That's when me. I come to, Spanish, I really don't like, get like, my number one team is. I really don't get hurt at all. It is Real Madrid and Chelsea. Any of them? Any of them? Any of them? I love these ladies. Let's go for our tidbits, please. Right, so there's all this talk about when Rooney going to leave Manchester yeah. United. I mean, how dare you people talk about our Wayne Rooney? He's not going anywhere. And Sir Alex has promised that Wayne Rooney will still be a United player next season. United loves Manchester. And, uh, I mean, Rooney loves Manchester. And we love Rooney. He's not going anywhere. So, you lot should just give yourselves a break. Find a dark room and sit in a corner. Rooney is not going anywhere. Anyway, so on Twitter, you know, uh, his wife, Colin, Ro- Colin Rooney, was so shocked that her husband was on the bench. So she was tweeting, and then I said, look, your, hu- your husband is a-, a player. You are a wife, so play your wife's role. And she blocked me. <laughs> yeah. It comes to the fact that players go to teams and then they play at a certain point in time. They would want to move on. We saw our own Cristiano Ronaldo playing Manchester United, and when a bigger club came, the money was good, it was a good side, it was doing well, and then he just felt that, look, it's time for a career change, it's time to climb yeah, the Yeah, but if, if, if you so look if, at Cristiano Rooney, Ronaldo, for instance, okay. um, I was, uh, if you've read Rooney's um, book, okay. in the book, from the beginning, he kept talking about the day... Um, uh, what's his name? Cristiano Ronaldo arrived at Old Trafford, and he said his dream has always been to play for Real Madrid. That is it. So yeah. when the opportunity came, he, he just is. had to go. But mm-hmm. this is the so same player that, that have been asked. They're saying that if you are to come back to England, which team would you want to play? And he's come out playing. He says Manchester United. We, we, we can't buy him. him. Okay, yeah. Unless he so, buys himself. So I, I feel that if Rooney at a certain point in wants time to wants to leave. But he hasn't he, said it. He hasn't said it. I just, know. It's just, it's just a rumor. It's just a rumor. He hasn't said it. But by if, 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 if it's, it's going to be true. It's, it's going to take um, an action against Manchester uh, United because what? of the post. They, they, post they didn't go for the press conference and all that. Okay. Well, it was against their coach. It was against their coach. No, against the team. The team. For the anyone who believes that preventing the players. Leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know, your former coach, AVB, is doing a great job. He's doing a, a very a, good a job. And, and w- one time I was telling a very good friend of mine that this was a stone that was rejected yeah. by Brown. You know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> they are like what? You, you, you don't see, agree you that you look for yourself. Listen, I think it's wrong. I, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not going disagreeing well. with all of you. And recently, they wanted Guardiola. There's no way I'm going to you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to talk now. This is the only chance of me here. How did you put me in the middle of the house? You should have put me here and just, you know, somewhere. What I'm saying is, I think the owner is looking for something he's not really getting. And with the Chelsea side, I personally feel that it has something to do with the players. Because if you, if you look at AVB moving to Tottenham, it was just the whole idea of the players feeling that they're of the same age with the, the coach, one, you know, financially probably they are richer. So they did not give him that support. 
look at Ashley Cole's reaction when he's been substituted by that coach. It was not positive. If you watch Lampard, he wasn't listening to him. If you watch Terry, you see, I think so. In in the changing room or you know in the back room where we don't see, he had serious issues. So that is how come he personally did not succeed. But in Tottenham, I feel that they are giving him the necessary support. The players are listening. That's to exactly what looking. he wanted at Chelsea. Yes, and uh, I feel that you see, and with him. I, I think he got his strategy very wrong. He came in. When you come into a team like that and you knew, you don't just start changing players and try to form your own thing. You should just wait and blend the old people with the new people. Look, this coach came in and outrightly you could see Drogba being benched. It was all about Torres, it was all about Torres. But let's not forget, when Torres was leaving Liverpool to Chelsea, he had an injury, so he, he wasn't fully fit. So he should have still continued with that same you know, game plan, play the, you know, the drawers and the people, and then fit in the new one. So I think that is how come he had serious with the old, even new banana, but as you sit in here, if you bring in someone just come and take your position, how would you feel? Would you just make it so cool for your manager or whatever? I will sleep. Okay. Sometimes I need a break. To, I, I really you need that break, but not to be, you know, completely taken off, and then you are on the bench when you, you know, you take a person of. Oh, you know, you can do you it. Can do it. Yeah. And they put her is that he's not performing. And Drogba is on the bench, and you bring him seventy eight minutes. And how would you feel? Okay. So I feel that he did not get it, you know, right from the very end. Said he should have taken his time. Okay. Lended the old, the old players, the new ones they were buying in, and he would have returned it perfectly. But the, the players he bought have really made the difference. Yes. Yeah. They have. They have yeah. because. I like one Mata, I like the new Brazilian. I love, Oka, I, I love Mata. Mata has a, he's just a fantastic I love, player. Mata is, Mata is splendid. He's, he's just yeah. amazing. Diane, I, love I wanted to add something to what she said. The fact that you're in the same age, like, with the coach, doesn't mean you have to respect the coach. Not at all. Yeah. But and you see, Gadiola, for example, Gadiola played with Puyo, Zavi, and I think, um, I don't know, but it's Puyo and Zavi. Okay. They were playing together. Yeah, okay. Before he had an injury, he couldn't play anymore. So he, okay. Like he ended up being a coach, but they gave him the necessary respect. You see, but that so is the, why the same age with your coach it doesn't mean you shouldn't respect but, him. But you see, that is one another. But we are different. The players That's why they have to in Real Madrid your, your players. are different from the players. They need discipline. The, I know. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea now, really need discipline. Now, they need to discipline their players. It's too much. Yeah, 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 it's too Yeah, no, uh, you see, with ABB, I they think they are not was consistent. No. That is just their they are, yeah. Imagine, yeah. They are, they are, are, you, are you consistent? Mm -hmm. uh, Basa? Yes. Uh, you, you haven't been in the last three matches. You've also 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 been in the last three matches. Yeah. When when the team is, is consistent to some extent, and when it gets to some point that the team is, is not getting it right, okay. that one you can pardon it. But Chelsea, here lies the case. Even black stars, you see, they, they break hearts. They are better than Chelsea. Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. 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 I'm just, I'm just linking that Maybe aspect. Maybe you can, you can, you can compare Chelsea with Millwall. Okay, <laughs> but I'm just comparing. <laughs> 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 I'm just, I'm just comparing that aspect <laughs> that she said that um, Asmajan and James Kesepia will just send us to the tournament and break her heart. Chelsea, same and, 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 and they, they, they can't do it. Same thing. Chelsea, they can't do it. Chelsea, they, 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 they the rest of the champions. They can't do it. They, they did it because I don't think that, that Champions League that Champions was, 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 was about luck. luck. Yeah. No, it was about luck. Oh, yes. And that's why they didn't get it. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Real Madrid wouldn't have lost, wouldn't have won against Manchester United. Sometimes football is something called luck. You can play the beautiful football all the time and then you can still lose yeah. that's what we are i.e. Yeah. I.e. Arsenal yeah. Yeah. in Barcelona so exactly yeah. you played beautifully against yeah. um, Bayern Munich mean, with, with time, uh, no, people with just, just know the style it wasn't Bayern yeah. it's similar it's similar but, still we lost. Yes, but you still lost anyway mm. yeah well let's go to <laughs> the one other tidbit about uh, Benitez talking about Europa and then we'll pick the thoughts on that uh, <laughs> story, uh, he says um, Chelsea will reach the Europa League qualifiers despite losing uh, to that team with a funny name. Bucharest. <laughs> yes. Right.
All right, so Manchester City footballer Carlos Tevez has been arrested. <laughs> right, anyway. These South Americans, huh? Yeah, too much. He, that player has, you know, a lot of temper. He just needs to control it. Well, look at the handsome, should we call him beautiful, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh. Yeah. So amazing. He's amazing, isn't he? He still scored a beautiful goal. It's not about swag. How can you come to the field and do makeup before you come to the field? Oh, really? Hey! 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 I want to go back to when Rooney's book. He <laughs> says that in the dressing room at Old Trafford, it was only Cristiano Ronaldo who had a mirror. Thank yes. you. He comes back after the first half. That he will punish. The guy that wants to take care of If Rooney is not care about, about, about his looks, why did he go to the dressing room? He's a beauty person. Rooney, Rooney. No, no, no. The Rooney we know was about. Yeah, the Rooney we know was about. But he went to go with that. What's wrong about that one? I okay, can't love him. Take a look at him. Oh, he's a sweet boy. That's sweet. That's sweet. That's yeah. It's not all about Why do you love him so much? Why do I love him? Um, actually, I, I love Messi more than Cristiano Ronaldo. Thank you. Thank you. But Thank then, you. but then, they are two different that's, players. That's so yeah. different. They are so different. I mean, sometimes I just sit down and say, there are things Cristiano Ronaldo can do, Messi, Messi can cannot do. do. Yeah. Yeah. And then there are a lot more things Messi, Messi can, can do, Zero can do. Cristiano yes. Ronaldo yes. cannot do. They are two different players. They are, they are all world-class so players. I just but then again, Cristiano Ronaldo is the handsome one. He's an international sweetheart. Mm -hmm. We love no, him. No, no. Not handsome and that's the reason why. You hate him. You see, that's why. Because of Madrid, I can't just love anything about them. Seriously. No, no, but I never lie you. I never. No. When he was in my you. I really, I didn't have anything against Manchester United. I didn't like Manchester United because of Rooney. When he was starting his career, he was very, very rude, arrogant. Yeah, he's so changed cool. now. Now he's changed. He's, so now I'm like, better. okay. When they're playing, I like, sort of like sympathize with them a little bit. I'm like, okay, Take your sympathies. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, but your problem and, with and Cristiano and Ronaldo is just the it's Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Oh, but you do oh. reckon that he's a good looking Oh, he's, 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 oh, look, he's killed. For me, I would just look at the aspect of playing. He's just a good player. That's he's a great player. <laughs> Concerning he his looks. Do make up oh, he no. doesn't wear he doesn't makeup. Make Stop up. hating that guy. Anything you, can, you, you said, can, I don't, I don't think he can really play with makeup. Oh. Yeah. I don't think he can oh. play football. Okay, okay. you know. can. <laughs> oh, God. Right, we'll be back with MFR, Ghana's Most Beautiful. Right, you're welcome back and a big thank you to Cookie's Parlor for my hair and I have to read this one. Some of you can be meanies, like really. Uh, Selassie Mesa says that football is a huge business, so looks count. Nike or Adidas will not sponsor Fatal Dauda. I mean, how mean can you be? That's so unfair, Selassie. You should bow your head down in shame. Um, David Cromwell says that the girls know the game very well. I'm enjoying their contribution. And uh, Nanaba, you look sumptuous. Like what? Watch it. Um, Eric says, um, Killer B says, I'm enjoying the show. The ladies can't talk. They should be coaches. Um, nee Jerry Jerry Jones says that the show they go on rough. Okay, no pigeon, please. The ladies know what's up. And Sergio Ramsey says your ladies are too much. Um, Selassie comes back to say that Guardiola and Xavi play together, but his style gives them respect. I really can't position your message. But anyway, Raymond Apon says, Rooney will never leave Man United. And Brock says, please tell them it is Man United, not Man U. Actually, yeah, it is true. It is not Man U. Those of you who say Man U, it's derogatory. It is Man United. Anyway, MFR, good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, Ghana's most beautiful. Which season? Season six. Season six. Oh, they've done six already? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to do seven this year? Yeah. Oh, great. Um... Which team do you support? Chelsea. 
Why? Lady Steve. Yeah, it's a woman's okay, fellowship. I mean, I mean, I mean, she's answered it already. Why so, do you support Chelsea? Um, it's strange for some strange reasons. I wouldn't want to go to where everybody is like them, one united and all that. But that's not right where everybody Chelsea. is. That's where yeah, everybody is. Really? About yes. the, the have you checked the support problem. base in the world? Well, I haven't, but yeah, I mean, United is there. Really Chelsea is here. Yeah, so Arsenal is there. Liverpool is there. I'm here. I'm in Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. Who's the coach for Chelsea? Um, Rafael. Benitez. Yeah. Benitez. Who's the captain? I um, didn't ask you. <laughs> Who's the captain? She's the captain. No, 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 don't worry. John Terry, then. John Terry. <laughs> Who's a striker? Name two strikers for Chelsea. Oh, slow down with me. Okay, <laughs> come on. You, you love Chelsea. Come on, do it. Make me proud. Ah. Ah. Yeah. You're warned. You are, are you? warned. <laughs> yeah. I hear stars. Yeah. Terry, yeah. how much did Chelsea pay for him? 90 million. 50, 50 million. 50 million. 50 million or something. 50 million what? Yeah. yeah. Do you know how to keep quiet? Yes. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing? Um, I'm launching my project today, 5.30 at Golden Tulip. Um, basically about maternal health. I would want to correct something. I, I've been championing chlamydia during the competition, but if you'd want to do something, you'd have to do more research. And after the competition, I've had a few research and I've spoken to doctors and they're telling me that chlamydia is not so much of a challenge that is in Ghana that you'd want to champion. But if I still want to maintain the MDG goals and I'd rather go for a challenge that's in Ghana that's like maternal mortality. Right. So I am I'm championing that and doesn't mean that the NGO is limited. If I find myself helping in any other aspect I would want to help. It's more of a buffet of a project. Okay, so you're doing that tomorrow? Today. I mean tonight, yes. at the Golden Tulip Hotel. Good. Who qualifies to be there? People like you, anybody will come, once you have money. I'm, I'm trying to squeeze money out of people. Oh, then I'm the wrong type. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> you do? No, I don't. And that, yeah, <laughs> rich for me. I hear football is like, like a rich game, so if you're talking about it, then you should have more. Like yeah. you said, it, you I should be playing die, instead. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, black queens. You know, black queens. Fight for them. You know. Yeah. I would have been a midfielder. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so how much are you hoping to raise? Um, my target was 100,000 Ghana CDs. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I should aim at a reasonable amount so that I'm not really targeting the money. I want policy makers to come in to do policies that will help our mothers and our children. So any little donation is not like little. Everything is okay for the developmental of Ghana. So. Okay. Oh, that's great. Proud of you. Thank I've been you. seeing the, the stories from the Volta region. You're doing a, a good job. Thank you. And I think that maternal mortality really... It's a shame that at this point, we're 56 years old and yes. we still have very bad uh, records. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we don't talk about it, our generation will die because we have the next generation in our mother's womb. And if they're dying with the babies, I'm sure Ghana will be no more in mm -hmm. some years. So it's something we have to do like real noise about. Even if we can't do anything about it, we should let people know. You know? That's great. Very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. You have a limited football knowledge. Very. So I will spare you. Thank you. Uh, you look relieved. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so if you want to support that course, it's at the Golden Chili Hotel tonight. MFR will be there, the beautiful MFR, uh, Ghana's Most Beautiful Season 6. Uh, you have to be there, support her. No amount is too big or small. No. Yeah, we say that all the time, but sometimes the amount, some amounts can be really small. small, you know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you've got to go and support MFR. Thank we you. take a short teaser. We'll be back with Diane, and the ladies can go on with the banter. <laughs> Stay with us. Right, yeah, welcome back. I have a few more messages here. I don't really understand this message, but anything against uh, an enemy makes me happy. Uh, Moses says that Chelsea is like Pepsi. Anybody can swallow it. I mean, I don't really get your message, I, but yeah, anything demeaning is all right. It's okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm back with the ladies. Um, let's go for the fixtures, and then we'll pick their thoughts on the games that are coming up this weekend and the next Right, let's start with today. Um, Wigan will be going all the way to um, Everton. 
So the Good Desert Park will be hosting Wigan today. And then Man City and the Reds. Bumsley, they are known as the Reds. They have another name, I think the Tykes. Yeah, the Tykes, I think. Yeah, so they are playing uh, Bumsley. It looks like a cool chop for Man City. But if you think about what Bradford and uh, some of the teams have done to some of the big teams, you can't really uh, write them off. But I think it's going to be very easy peasy for Manchester City. And then tomorrow, oh, interesting one, Millwall and Blackburn. And then Manchester United and Chelsea. Now that's the game. It's not a really big game. I mean, after all, it's Chelsea. Yeah. It's not a big game. <laughs> but yeah, considering the noise that Chelsea makes of late, it makes it look like a big game, you know. But then in the English Premier League, Norwich and Southampton, QPR, Sunderland, Reading and Aston Villa, West Brom and Swansea all holding it up today. I remember because of the FA Cup, the United game has been postponed. So Newcastle and Stoke tomorrow, Liverpool and Tottenham, that's a big one tomorrow yeah, big one. at Anfield. Yes. Yeah, and that's the league table. United with 71 points, Man City 59, Tottenham 54, the rest I can't really be bothered. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about top three, you want to talk about top oh. three? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. No, you think, I think you, can, you can still be in the top four? Yeah. It's I think possible. you have a good shot. Think, yeah, it's possible. How about Arsenal? You think they can come into the top four? With Arsenal, I feel it's going to be very difficult. Arsenal is playing, as you said, beautiful, fantastic football. But the thing is, with the finish, and then the defense is not so good because they're conceding too many goals. So going forward, that is if Arsene Wenger decides to stay, or whether they push him out, or the owners, whatever they he's do. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. He's, he's usually go. making money for them. He's never. He's not making. He's losses like. And all he's that. like. He's an economist. He's, he's a of cash. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just you like this Peggy muscle, is uh, Mugabe of United. <laughs> Arsenal is not going anywhere. <laughs> yes. Yeah. With, with Arsenal, I, I feel that now he should have learnt his lessons, going and buy quality players. Not that the Arsenal players are not good, but it's experience. They are he too young. To buy. He should buy some. And the he's a businessman. Ones, I, mean, I think he's a businessman. The quality ones. He buys the small boys. So but they them and sell them. And later. sell them fine. But at least once in a mm -hmm. while, you should decorate your cap room or whatever with a trophy. It doesn't really spoil anything. Since they went to Emirates, they have well, not Well, he says qualifying anything. for Champions League is a trophy. It's just like... Yeah. I think yeah. if yeah. Finger continues like this, um, in the next, like, say, next three, four years... We'll Arsenal, be celebrating a decade of Arsenal yes, without a trophy. They, they sh yeah. should be relegated or something. Oh, oh no. Yeah. That is Actually, the <laughs> only team that has never been relegated no. in England. Well, yeah. okay. Yeah. Maybe they might escape. As usual, Arsenal will never be ready. They, they will not. They will not. That that you've gone way too. Yeah, they will never they be ready. They like seventh, seventh, eight. They would always be hanging and all that. They will but never as be to relegation. relegation, like come on, you have the West Ham. Okay, but I mean next four, next three, that. four years, because it's like it's becoming worse. No, but as for relegation for Arsenal, okay. it, won't no, it won't happen. No, it, it won't, won't happen. happen. That I, think won't happen. I, I think they should just. Okay, well, they won't let him go, so I don't have anything to say. He's making profit him for them. He's they have to let him go. Why? No, 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 it's not. Arsenal is a business no. center. You want him you to go and work with the same studio and just said, He goes for regard for you. And that's what he's doing. I mean, Ashley Cole. He goes for regard for you. You see, and, 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 and that's where I feel Arsenal should be learning. And that is where I feel Arsenal Wenger should be learning when he grooms the players. Because until Van Persie left, he was just advocating that they bring in some quality players to come and help him. Because I personally feel that if Van Persie had been in Arsenal until now, look, Arsenal wouldn't have been where they are. So we should just listen to either the fans or the players themselves. And Look, I'm sure if you are to bring on people like your wild horse them and to ask them if they are very happy or not, th they would want to talk and tell you about the sort of things they are not happy about mm. at Arsenal. So the coach should, you know, next season or whatever, if they open up, you know, the season and they're like, look, now we can buy in some players. Look, maybe you looking at the okay bench. Maybe they should buy Rooney. Sell <laughs> oh, no, 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 they can't buy Rooney. Right? And that is something with All the right. big guys. When okay. they are playing top teams like that, they would look at the side and wonder, look, just like you want to bring someone like Cristiano Ronaldo to, or yeah. Messi to uh, Arsenal anyway, or something. That Rooney, Rooney to Arsenal was just a joke. It would be like demotion and life. 
Even my Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for passing through Diane, Ya, and Christine. It was a pleasure having you. I think I'm going to make you permanent guests at some point. I love your submission. Thank you for your time. And that will be all for today. If you want to see me, I think I'm going to look for some watching leaves or something somewhere.